Hey everybody, this is part four of HA configuration with the firepower threat defense. And as you can now see, I can now ping. If I do a show, I go back over to this one. This is the primary show interface gig zero slash three. And you can see the IP address is 1.1, ping 1.1.1.1. So I should be able to ping myself, yep. And two is the other secondary. And you can see I can ping that now. So what I did was I had to actually come over here and click stop on each of these, these devices, the Cisco FTDs. So I did that. And it looks like now everything is starting to come back together. So I, I think there was just a problem with EVNG. It, it occasionally happens. It's kind of rare, but it does happen where it gets a little, little wonky and a little strange. And I wasn't able to ping across here. And that, that was kind of a, it was telling me something. So now if we go in here, you can see the peers failed. What I think is happening, and I can't, I had some trouble logging in. Let's see what's going on here. Failover history. Let's see if we see anything here. Okay. Um, October 29th. This host one single. So I think what's going to happen is it's going to come up. Standby ready, failed. So let's take a look at the secondary so it gave me an internal server error and i know when i tested it before i was not there was a time of time period when it was working on the firepower device manager on the secondary that i could not log in I had to wait a while so that might be the point we're at now um let's take a look here we can get in show interface let's look at the gigabit zero slash three one dot one dot two ping one dot one dot one dot one and it's able to so Communication's working, so now we just have to wait for everything to, to settle. Which I, th I think it will shortly, so let's just back never. So I, I still can't log in. It looks like it's going to time out. But I was able to log into the, the console here. You can see that. And if I do, let's do a show failover. Show failover on there. Let's see what we see. Um, I can't see. Let's see if I can page that. Show failover. Um, let's see what we want to say. Let's do show failover on here where we can see everything. Show failover. Okay, so it's, oh, that's interesting. So right here, you can see this one's active. Secondary showing failed. 10, 170, 10.2 failed. So why is that failed? But this does look better. You can see already, this is looking a lot better. Primary is active, secondary failed because of this interface, the inside interface. So uh, let's see if we can log in there. Let 
want to refresh this. Try to log in. So yeah, before it looks like we weren't getting communication. And unable to authorize access. Okay, so I'm still having some issue getting in there. So I am in the console. So I think that's going to clear up. Let's take a look here. Here showing has failed. What I want to do is I want to take a look at that inside interface. And actually, let's let's see if we can ping it on here. So let's do a show interface gig zero slash one. 10, 170. So let's ping 10, 170, 10.2. And that's pingable. Okay, so that's that's also good. Make sure one is also available. Okay, so that's not pingable. Is it two or is it? 10, 170, 10.1, and 2. I think that's correct. Let's just double check. Well, yeah, there it is, 1 and 2. So 1 right there. Let's see if we can ping two from here. Ping 10, 170, 10.2. Okay, so we can't. So that's interesting. Let's make sure that the topology is correct. Okay, so we've got gig zero, zero and gig zero, two in this switch. They're both on the inside, so that we have to make sure that that's set up correctly. It may not be. So enable, so we're looking at gig zero, zero. So let's do a oops, show run. And this is very possible. Gig zero, zero, gig zero, one. Doesn't look like anything's really configured there. Show int status. And it is showing. They're all in VLAN one, so that shouldn't really matter. They should all be, should be able to connect to it. So gig zero one. Possibly still having an issue. It shows connected. Well, actually it's connected to gig zero two. So gig zero two right here. Um, let's see, if, can we ping it from the PC? That's this PC right here. Ping 10, 170, 10.1, we can. And dot two, not coming back. So it, it does look like it's failed, which is interesting. Let's take a look at, let's see if anything's changing. So it's still showing failed. Let's see if we can log in yet. Okay, that's a good sign. That's looking a little bit better. So like I said, when I was testing this, 
there was a time when this all this took a while and the interface was unavailable while it was setting up while it was setting this up let's see what are we on uh gig this let me close that okay um let's see zero one Oh, that's interesting. Why is that taking a ten one seventy ten dot one? Okay, well I guess that should. So it's so it knows it's failed. Let's see let's see if we can figure out why it's failed here. Okay, interface check. This host one, single VF, inside, other host zero. All right, so let's try to figure out what that means. So let's take a look. I think what we can do here, can we change this? Click OK there. So this is giving me an error. Okay. So we might just have to reset this interface and, and try to do this again. This is, let's see if it's gonna allow us to redeploy this. This may fix it here, a good deployment. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, I'm going to pause while it deploys. Okay, the deployment's done. Let's click OK on that. still showing failed okay so let's do a show fail over let's see what we see okay so i'm on the secondary right now you can see it's still showing failed Okay, let's do a show interface. So interface, which interface is down? The inside. So show interface gig zero slash one. So this just, again, looks like something with something with EVNG is going on. Don't think there's any issue really here, but um, I'm going to pause and see if I can reboot some parts of EVNG just to get this running. 
Okay, one thing I did see is that this connection to this switch right now on this segment here, which is the 751010.0, this switch, gig 02, let's take a look at it. I'll show you how this is configured. This is configured on a VLAN. So if we do a do show run, you're going to see gig 00 and gig 01 on access VLAN 120. Gig 02 is not, so that's a problem. So that needs to be fixed. So let's do that right now. Interface gig 02 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 120. Okay, so that I think should fix if there's an outside issue, which there should have been, even though it was, the error was pretty much pointing me to the inside. Although if we look at this event description, that tells us that is calling out outside. So let's see if that helped. So we want to do, so we're on the secondary. Let's do a show failover. And that's still showing failed. It's showing on the inside. So I really would like to wait this has been pushing for a while. Let's see if there's maybe something going on here. So I think we're gonna have to wait for this to finish and see if that fixed anything. All right, I'm gonna pause. Okay, so after wrestling with this for a little bit of time. Uh, everything seems to be working at this point. So I think the major issues that were experienced were just because of some EVNG situation, probably from deleting these Cisco uh, firepower threat defense systems and then bringing them back. So let's let's look at what we have now. So we have active. This is a fire power one. It's active. The objects here. Once that comes up, there's 10 objects. There's three policies. Okay, so if we go over here, this appears to still be syncing, but let's look at the objects, see if we have 10 yet. We do have 10, so it's already synced those policies. Okay, I clicked on that. So there are the three policies. So it looks like everything's everything's over, everything's synced. Everything seems to be working now. So most of that troubleshooting was just trying to figure out why it wasn't working. Um, if we click here now, we should be able to ping everything. Let's Let's just try. Ping 10.170.10.1. Okay, so this is what you will see also when you do this, when you first copy it. You'll see the server busy. This is where it's actually bringing everything in. Okay, that's good, good. I'm glad we're seeing that. So it's now copying everything over to the to the secondary units unit. So it's working correctly. So I'm going to pause and wait till this completes, and then we'll wrap this up. So it stayed on that server is busy page for a few minutes, and then it came back to this. So and it's still still showing failed.
So, okay. So I think this is where we're going to end this. So thank you for viewing. I hope you uh, learned something. Thanks.